بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my name is Hadar Abdel Latif and my project title is Traffic Light Detection and Counter Recognition and the Supervisor Dr. Zamani in this presentation I'll be going through introduction, literature review, research methodology, early result and last but not least conclusion the use of traffic light is to control and monitor the automobiles flow through the road junctions the countdown timer improves the traffic light systems by displaying the remaining time for the current state of traffic light. And as you can see in figure 1, countdown timer of traffic light may consist of 2 or 3 digits. For motivation, using smart traffic light systems and vehicles would provide an opportunity to reduce or eliminate the human exposure to difficult and unsafe driving and solve more safety related problems. Problem statement number 1. The instability of climate would create difficulties for drivers to identify the current state of traffic light, which may result to a serious crashes. Number two, when traffic light converts from one state to another with no countdown, time indication, an unsafe response and confusion of motorists may occur. As research questions, number one, how to detect traffic light with counters, number two, how to recognize the state and the digit on traffic light countdown timer using fission system. Objectives number one to design a fission system for traffic light recognition with counters. Number two to develop a fission system enabled to interpret the counter of traffic light. And number three to analyze the performance of both algorithms. For scopes another three points Number, number one, de detecting and recognizing the number of traffic lights from, from 9 to 0. The color of traffic lights specified green and red only. Detecting and recognizing the countdown timer of traffic light during daytime only. Chapter 2, literature review. A summary table was made up which include the author and date, purpose, method, verbal, and last out. For the first paper is in 2020 February and the purpose is to construct an efficient automatic license plate detection and recognition system using deep learning method. The verbal is the accuracy of detecting numbers and labels and an output accuracy of, det of number detection is 99.37% and for label detection is 92.26%. For, for paper 2 which is on 2016 and, and is built up for the purpose of detecting and recognizing number or, or ticks of marathon or in natural images. The method is using SVM classifying graph cut method and as a variable is the accuracy of detection and recognition number of ticks in unstable movement. As an output the accuracy is resulted is 85%. For the third paper which is on 2019 and is made up for the purpose of developing automatic meta detection and recognition system using CNN algorithm and as variable an accuracy of automatic meta reading and scored 90.71% and a recall of 90, 91.64% and last but not least for the last paper which is on July 2019 and for the purpose of detecting and recognizing digital energy meta display using OCR and as verbal precision of digital meter recognition and resulted in 93.17. According to all the related research done previously, there was no previous study done on detecting traffic light with counters. Number two, there was no previous study done on recognizing traffic light countdown timer digit. However, in this project, the CNN classifier algorithm is to be developed on Jetson Nano platform to detect traffic light and recognize counter. Chapter 3 Research Methodology consists of two starting points, the input video and the data set. Both of them will go through three processes for the output to be accomplished. The first phase, which is the pre-processing, second phase is detection phase, and last but not least is the recognition phase. After that, there will be an evaluation based on the prediction made before. For the pre-processing phase, there are two steps for the input video to be done in the pre-processing phase. Firstly, the input video have to be filtered into single frames and every single frame have to be enhanced 
and then the color space of that image has to be changed from RGB to HSV. The reason we change from RGB to HSV is because we want to separate the image luminance from color information. For detection phase, color thresholding and morphology dilation are used. And we have used color thresholding for the purpose of removing parts of image that fall within a specified color range. This model can be used to detect object consist color value. For the dilation, the dilation adds, a, adds pixels to the boundaries of object in an image. The number of pixels added depend on the size and shape of the structuring element used to process the image. And for the recognition phase, HOG descriptor and CN classifier is to be used for extracting and, and recognizing the digit of the countdown timer. This, the HOG descriptor, which is histogram of oriented gradients, is a feature descriptor that is used to extract features from image data. It is widely used in computer vision tasks for object recognition. And for CNN, which is convolutional natural network, and it is a multi-layered natural network with a special architecture to detect complex features in data. However, for before we input the video, the classifier have to be trained using the dataset, which is numbers from zero to nine. The dataset have been taken as mentioned before during daytime and only consist of green and red colors. So for the dataset, they are also going to undergo the same phases, which is pre-processing detection and the extraction and the feature extraction, which is done by using the HOG. They would be then go to the CNN classifier for the training process and then the, that process would end with a evaluation. As a result of this project, we have been capturing data set for the training purposes and the CNN classifier from zero, the, the data set that have been captured numbers from zero to nine in both green and red. As we can see in figure three, the data set that have been captured are in good condition for the classifier to be trained and then evaluated. Moreover, every image that have been captured in the data set have to be converted from RGB type to HSV. The purpose of doing that is to eliminate or to separate the image elimination from the color information. Moreover, every pixel of the RGB has three values, which is blue, red, green. Then they will have to be converted to HSV to another three different value, hue, saturation, and value. However, in this page or in this slide, we can see the HSV conversion result, which is done using Python OpenCV method. And last but not least, as a conclusion, the detection phase and recognition phase to be performed further, the dataset are ready for the next stage of the process, which is the detection phase. Assalamu alaikum and thank you so much.